Okay, shalom. I'm just going to try and do a joke. Uh, I used to do jokes at school when I was at school. I had a friend who used to listen to my jokes and I actually thought they were quite funny. Sometimes I used to make them up. So this one, I kind of made it up when I was walking along there. Um, so it's about a woman and she wants to get married. And so she's really looking for a sign from the Lord. Okay, She's like, is James the right guy for me or whatever? So she's like in the supermarket and she's like, Lord, if you like make one of these um, cashiers do a handstand okay, today uh, while I'm in the supermarket, then I'll know that James is the right man for me to marry. Okay. So she's like, approaches the uh, till and um, everything's cool. She's just paying for messages and she's handing the cash over. And all of a sudden the woman jumps up. She just jumps up out of her seat and... Um, takes a step back and then just does a handstand. She's like that, Lord, Lord, that is just amazing. That is, that is amazing. Lord, this James must be the right guy for me. So she kind of runs out the store, even forgets to take her change. And she's like, Phew. she's just thinking about this, you know, she's like, wow, you know. And she's like, okay, I need to get some petrol now for my, for my van, whatever, for a little, I suppose she's not got a van. She's got a little Yugo, let's say she's got a little little Yugo she's got, right? So she's a little yellow Yugo she has. So she drives in um, to the to the sort of almost to the petrol station and she's like, Lord, now if you can, if, if if you can if I see a guy in the petrol station who's doing the splits on the roof of his car, then I'll know for sure that James is the right guy for me. Okay. So uh, she she drives in, like the place is empty. She's like, what? The place is totally empty. So she like gets her petrol, you know, pays for it. And just as she's driving away, she notices this um, sort of Lamborghini or whatever driving up. And this green Lamborghini and the guy gets out his shades and all that. And all of a sudden, he just jumps up on the roof and does the splits. By this time, she's, she's just about crashing her car. She stops the car. She's got her iPhone. She's trying to take pictures. She's like... She just can't believe it. She's almost hyperventilating at this point. Now the signs from God, like God's never answered her prayers before, but you know, she, she contemplates it and she's like very, very certain in her heart that James is the right man, okay, for her. So the next day at work, she's, she happens to be a massage therapist, so she's like driving up in a little yellow Yugo and she's like parking it and just as she goes in, she actually notices that James is actually in the queue um, waiting for, for a massage. And she's like, what? So she, she goes to her secretary and you know, her secretary's like, yeah, that's uh, James, James Black. Um, just it's first timer, you know what I mean? So maybe you can like run, run him through a few health things and he wants a full body today, uh, whatever. And she's like, what? This is just amazing, right? So, <laughs> so she kind of hurriedly gets through the you know the first two or three customers and you know gives them or whoever massages that they're wanting head massages and back massages and for different injuries and stuff like that kind of rushes through them and she 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 kind of figures out that you know james is the next guy to come in so by this time uh james has just been sitting reading the paper and he's been getting ready for his full body so he's actually just been sitting on this table waiting Okay, um, sitting on newspaper, actually, sitting on newspaper on this table waiting for his, his full body massage, you know what I mean? So he walks in with his towel and all that and she's like, he's like, hey there, you know, Dorothy or whatever her name is, okay? Okay, so, and she's like, wow, she's, she's a bit nervous, but she's, you know, they relax and she gets into it, you know, starts doing his arms and his back and all that. And then she's like, mm, how can I tell him I need to do his legs and, you know, take this towel away and stuff? So, but by instinct, he, he, he just says, well, that's okay, you can, just, you can just do my legs, whatever, you know? So she takes the towel down, and then she just looks down, and in a, in a voice of shock and surprise, she says, James, did you know that there was an earthquake in China today? Hope you enjoyed it. Right, got another joke for you guys. Um, this one is about 
uh, the Amish. It was an Amish family that won a trip to a mall, okay, for the first time in their lives. They'd never been inside a mall before. They'd never been outside the farm, you know. So it's like all the Amish are sending them away quite happy. And they get into their wee, the wee buggy and cart and they go away. So it's like uh, the husband, the wife, the two kids. And um, so they're like just in the mall and checking it all out, checking the shops out. And they're like, Phew. their mouths are open, you know, they're like, wow, I didn't know that such places exist in this world, you know. So the wife was particularly excited and um, basically they kind of split up, you know, and they were looking around. She was like in all the shops, and, you know, so it's like the son and the father broke off and they were just walking around and uh, they were checking out the elevator, okay. So they just saw that this old woman, she's about like 90 years old, uh, she's like struggling to get into this elevator. So they went and helped her in. They had no idea what an elevator was, you know. They were like looking around and, she, she, you want to go in here? Okay, so they helped her in and then the door shut on their face and they were a little bit confused, you know. And they kind of looked up and they saw the numbers going and there was a little dial, you know, it was moving, moving up. And they were like counting the numbers, you know, three, four, five. And then they noticed the numbers were going backwards now. Four, three, two, one, and then the doors opened, and there standing was like a 19 year old girl. She was like absolutely beautiful, you know what I mean? She's absolutely gorgeous. So the father turns around to his son and goes, Son, go and get your mother. <laughs>